the reports are a great communication tool regarding your project. But even if you use a pre-created one, you're going to want to probably customize it just a little bit. So let's go to report and let's choose one of these reports from dashboards. I'm going to choose project overview. Now, you might not want to change a thing about it, but even if that's the case, I would highly recommend that you do the following. Go to File, Print, and what you will probably encounter is that it doesn't fit on the page, and you will need to shrink it. And so if you look at the bottom here, I'm seeing page one of two, and if I advance to page two, I'm seeing a little bit of that table showing up on page two. Now, if you go to page setup, there is a fit to option. And so if you OK it, this has shrunk it for you. But I'm not a big fan of the fit to option because I feel like I could get a little bit more space than the fit to option. So I'm going to go back into page setup change it back to adjust to, and put it back to 100%, because the it's got a percentage, 90% is what it shrunk it in order to fit it on one page. Instead, if you click back into your report and simply from the report tools design tab, when you have a report, you're going to have this special tab, the ribbon available to you. There's a page breaks option that's going to help you figure out where it needs to be fit to. And so in this case, I see that, well, you know what? This table, Milestones Do, has some empty space. And if I grab, if I go to the separator, I can make the column, the first column a little bit narrower, um, actually, I did that wrong. You want to go to the edge, and when you do it uh, several times, you'll get the hang of this, because it actually moves the first column. If you use do the first column first, it's going to be too narrow. I actually go to the edge first, and then, if necessary, go to the first column if you need to. But I've gotten back an inch or more so that I can move this table over. It doesn't have a whole lot of space, but I can drag it over so it is to the left of the line. Now, I'm noticing that the text above, all of these charts and tables have text. It looks like this might be a little close as well, so I'm going to resize it. Point is, everything needs to be the left of the page break line. So now if I go back to File, Print, I should be seeing it all on one page. Actually, it's still on two pages, and there's nothing on page two. There must be something still hanging over there, but I certainly can avoid it at this point. But um, I might want to customize this even further. So when I'm clicked on text, this one is just text. I could just change it. So this is the cloud collaborative overview. And I don't like screaming caps, so I'm going to change that text to be just mixed case. Uh, now it's on top of other stuff. I might have to move some of this stuff down. <clears throat> ah, here's why it was on two pages. This other text box that looked like it was fine, when I click on it, there's some empty space showing up. So these are the little kinks you need to work out. If I make this now fully to the left of the page break, now I'm guessing that this is going to be one page. Sure enough, it is. Uh, but um, I can't see all of this because there's uh, text boxes on top of text boxes. I'd need to maybe move this down a little bit. Now let's see how far I can go. Can't go too far 
down, but I could drag it just to the edge, maybe drag this text box off to the side so that I have more room for my chart and can move this text box down so that this text box can widen. So it's a little jigsaw puzzle that we're working with. Now, I'm going to click on this orange thing. You might think that's text. That's actually a table. How do I know? Well, when I click on it, there's a ribbon up top that says it's a table. And when I click into it, if you've worked with tables in Word or, uh, or um, Excel or PowerPoint, same options. I can check off options, functionality for different colors. But in project, what goes in it is based on this field list over here. And percentage complete is in it. It's checked. If I uncheck it, it will disappear. And if I went to percentage work complete, it would give me a different set of data. Now, the font has made it smaller at this point. I could go to the home uh, or the task tab to change the font type, but I'm just going to undo this back to the original font size so I don't have to uh, take the time for that. Uh, if it's a chart, I'm clicking on this, clearly it looks like a chart. Sure enough, there's a chart tools design tab and format tab. And again, if you've worked with charts, you have the ability to do anything that you have with a chart. This is the same charting engine as in Excel. Uh, but what fields get charted are determined on this field list. And because there are hundreds of fields, there are categories of fields that you have to drill into. If you wanted cost information, you click on the triangle for cost, check off the cost. Let's create a, a report from scratch this time. So to do it from scratch, you would go to report, new report, and I'm going to choose blank. And I have created an issues table with issues field. I'm going to create now an issues report. Now, the name gets added to the report. First thing I always do is add page breaks. Oh, we got a problem already. This would be two pages by unless I fix it. And so I would move these so they're not quite so big. You can add an image. If you had an image of the information, you could add this to the report. Now I have a little picture here that I'm going to include. Here's a logo that could be added. So anything you already have added could be included as a picture. But the meat of your report, back in the design tab, is probably going to be a table or a chart. And I'm going to start with a table. So what you get when you decide to add a table is this entity. Again, first thing I probably do is make it so it doesn't straddle the page break. But they decided I wanted the name of the task, the start, the finish, and the percentage complete, which maybe I want. But if it's not what I want, I just uncheck it. And as I go up and down this list, I see those columns. I don't really need the percentage complete for this purpose, but I do want the issue. And so that is going to be a little bit difficult to find. That's a custom field that I created. To get to that, I have to go all the way to the bottom of the list, check the triangle for other fields, and then custom. And here are these issue fields. And as I add them, they get added to my table. And now I resize. And when I resize, I start by resizing the whole thing and then finish by resizing the individual columns. And so um, now you might be wondering, there aren't any issues. Uh, well, there were issues on this project. The reason why there aren't any on this table is this stuff down here below. So 
I can, on a table, add a filter and any filter, including custom filters, show up. Here's my issues filter. Now I see nothing. And why is that? Well, because of the outline level. The outline level is set to project summary task. Only, that's why only one task was showing. There wasn't an issue there. So where are the issues? Well, they could be anywhere. So I'm gonna choose all subtasks. Now here are my issues showing up on a nice, nicely formatted table. If I wanted to add a group, I could. I can leave that on no group. And if I show hierarchy, it's gonna indent and add the summary task in, which if it's helpful, I could leave in or not. And if I want it sorted by perhaps the name or the dates, I could include a sort. And then as I add additional issues or take issues out, this would be available to me. If I did want a quick chart, I would go to design chart. And I see all the chart types I have from Excel. If I were to just choose one, it gets placed not exactly where I want. I can move it by dragging. I can maybe resize it. What did they give me? Well, they gave me actual work, remaining work, and work on this chart. Well, if I don't want any of those, maybe I'll leave just one of those. How about remaining work? That will just give me one color. Um, <clears throat> I have the ability to change the design from the ribbon, change the colors, go to quick layout to change structure, or change chart type to switch to a completely different chart type, or in format I can get a lot of specific uh, different looks uh, as well. Add chart element would go into the different components. But now I have a very, very custom report. If I go to back to, say, the Gantt chart, which I can get to from the Design tab, and I'm now interested in seeing these reports, I would go back to Report. If it was one that I just customized that came from project, like project overview, the customizations are still there. But if I want that custom one that I just created, that's going to show up in custom. Here's this issues report, and I'm returning to it. I could continue to modify it, or I could print it. There is so much you can do with reports. The sky is the limit.